First of all, allow me to give you my congratulations to you. Eight victories out of eight games. Wow, what an achievement. You must be pleased and proud of your team so far and also their existing form at stage one. What do you say about that? I think the victories showed the attitude of our players. We have been training behind closed doors before the resumption, and our efforts have taken effect in the prior eight games. So we know that the CBA is really in full swing, and now the reopening is entering its second stage. Uh, your place, are they ready, or are they more used to the new competition format in this kind of sea, uh, sealed area and this time of, obviously it's not going to be in Dongguan, it's going to be in Qingdao, a new position, a new place without audience and so forth. Any concerns from your side? We had competed in games under such a system before, yet we never played behind closed doors for such a long time. It's hard for both players and coaches. While playing in the empty stadium, I need to keep motivating my players. Moreover, the games are scheduled in different time slots, which is also a challenge for us to make adjustments. But the fans and audience watching live streams and cheer for us online to show their support, and it encourages us. I feel very happy for that. So your team is doing so well. So far, you got one player, foreign player available. Is Marshawn still coming back, or perhaps you don't even need the, you know, him given the uh, travel ban and so forth? What do you make of it? I think our performance in the first stage has proven the effect of training. In some games, we won with a large margin. Yet our goal is not to win with high scores, but to keep our momentum going. The absence of Marshawn Brooks does affect us, but I think all the teams are facing the similar challenge, except Beijing and Beikong. So all we can do now is to shoulder our own responsibilities and try our best on court. So your two veteran players like Zhou Peng, I'm glad to see him coming back strong after his injury, and Yi Jianlian remains focused and also in great form. And you must be proud of these two veterans. I always told the younger players to cherish their time with veterans like Yi Jianlian and Zhou Peng. The reason why they can always play well is that they stay focused and do what is right. They did not rest much during the training session so as to keep in their good form. I hope the youngsters can learn the fighting spirit from the veterans. So it seems to me, uh, Coach Du, that you are trying your best to consolidate the, uh, the bench, if you will. Also, your team you know, is doing very well by allowing many younger players, younger players, to step in and to chip in. And also, uh, more and more of them are on court now. Part of your long-term plan is as such? Or do you think you have achieved some results you wished? The development of both the team and the league needs more young players as they can bring in more energy. I always try to provide more opportunities for them. When I first started out in the league, I was only given two chances to be on court, and I played for no more than 3 minutes and 58 seconds respectively. I know how eager a young player is to prove himself on court, so I set a standard for all the players on my roster. And if you reach it, you will get a chance to play on court. I would like to see a positive development in our team and hope the new generation can pick up the baton from the veterans and grow stronger. So your team so far has won so many games with such a big margin at stage one. Um, but the upcoming games, I bet, could be very, very tough, even tougher than before. What are the challenges ahead on your way to defending the title? Winning eight games in a row might make the players feel a little relaxed. Yet I can see my players always stay focused, no matter how far ahead we are. As their coach, I will keep an eye on them and remind them to focus on training and recuperation. But there is still one month to go, 
and we have lots of games ahead. I don't want to push them too hard now. Well, indeed, indeed, a long way still to the、uh, title fight. And、uh, in addition to your team, which is so strong right now, what might be other title favorites, if you will? And、uh, yeah, let us know、uh, what might be the、uh, challenges ahead, especially those top teams. We held some simulation training based on the teams we might face in the playoffs, like Beijing and Beikong. Both teams have two foreign players. Xinjiang and Liaoning are also strong. There are other teams with all Chinese squad performing well, such as the two teams from Zhejiang. We cannot underestimate any enemy. The most important thing is to do our own job and try our best. All right, coach.、Uh, you've been very diplomatic with that answer. However, we know that it's a long process, and we'd like to send you best wishes、uh, as far as your title defending process. And we want to thank you so much for your time. I know you have a hectic schedule ahead, probably going back to your training and so forth. Once again, thank you so much for your input, and、uh, best of luck to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye.